Okay, uh, good day everyone. This is Jason Santos, your practical research teacher. And uh, for today, I'm going to answer um, a certain activity here in um, Module 5 of Practical Research 2, Data Collection, uh, Presentation, and Analysis. So, as always, um, pagkagaya na pa ulit-ulit kong sinasabi no, sa ating mga viewers, students, uh, it would be better uh, if you would have the entire module 5 um, answered with the assistance of a, uh, a math major or a statistics major. Uh, ako po ay um, a business major. No? So, I know a few things about statistics and math. Um, definitely, I could answer the entire module, but again, para masigurado and of course, to avoid uh, further scrutiny by your uh, teachers, no? para mas sigurado tayo, no? para dun tayo sa uh, wala tayong mga questions or concerns. Ano? Um, it's always better to have uh, your answers here checked by a statistician or a math. No? Ngayon, uh, for some students, it might not be practical kasi again, we're just answering a module. So, I'm going to help you answer a couple of the a couple of questions here in module 5 uh, through a series of videos no so itong activity 4 um ano bang kailangan gawin dito no so if you have read the entire um module 5 this is about um hypothesis testing ano and um using different statistical uh methods on answering questions so ito um, we have a set of data already and meron ng given, pinapahanap sa atin yung mean and yung standard deviation. Ano? So, itong mean at standard deviation, napakadali nitong kunin. Ano? Kahit manually, pwedeng-pwede nyo kunin yan. Um, but I'm going to show you a way on how you could answer this easily no? uh, without any issues. So, the directions is... Um, so let me read the directions here now. Um, a random sample of 10 grade 7 students has grades in MAPE where marks range from 90 good to 98 excellent. And then the general average grade of all grade 7 students as of the last 5 years is 95. Is the general average of the 10 grade 7 students different from the population's general average? So use a 0.5 level of significance. So Meron tayong data uh, for 10 students and then ito yung scores nila at inaalam lang if um, yung grade 7 students uh, population scores are uh, significant. Okay? And meron dito, ta meron na tayong hypothesis. Ano? Uh, if you have learned this uh, uh, topic about uh, null and alternative hypothesis, ano? so it's just going to be about significance and not significant. So, pwede mong gawin yon through critical value approach or p-value approach. And meron din mga um, steps dito, no? If you have read the module. So, pwede mo siyang sundan. Okay? But again, I'm sure this is going to be a bit hard for most, no? Lalo na kung hindi ka naman talaga super galing, no? Pagdating sa math. So, what I'm going to show you is um, a practical and simple way on solving uh, this. No? So first, ano ba yung mean at saka standard deviation natin? So again, you can compute this manually or there are a lot of uh, calculators online that you can use. Ano? So first, alamin muna natin yung mean and standard deviation para malaman natin uh, whether we are going to accept or reject the hypothesis. Okay? So, what I have done is I went to a mean and standard deviation calculator such as this, the calculator.net standard deviation calculator. And then I have placed the data here. Ito na yung scores ng 10 students. If you would uh, notice, ito, 92 up to 92, trinance post ko dito. Okay? So it's very easy. You're just going to put it here, put some commas, and then you can calculate it. So let's go to compute it. And um, in a few seconds, meron na tayo kagad answer. So, tama naman, the count is 10, summation is 952, mean is 95.2, and there is 
uh, variance of 4.16. And then yung standard deviation natin is 2.03. Okay? So, um, having this data, pe, pwede mo na ngayon masagot no, yung question whether to accept or reject the null hypothesis. Okay? So, meron din tayong calculators in order for us tayong calculators in order for us to um, know so how to um, compute this and then later on understand if we are going to accept or reject the null hypothesis. So, ang gagawin lang natin dito is we're going to input the mean and then the standard deviation on this um, hypothesis testing calculator. So, andito na lahat ng elements. So, ganun na siya kadali ngayon. So, again, ilalagay mo lang yung data na kailangan. So, here we're going to put the number which is 10. No? Kasi we have 10 students. Ayan yung 10, ano? And then, ano pa yung mga kailangan natin? No? Kailangan natin itong null hypothesis amount. And then, we have the sample statistics standard deviation, at saka level of significance. So, sample statistic. Okay? So, ito na yung sa mean natin. Ano? Ang mean natin, again, is 95.2. So, you're just going to put 95.2 here. And then, standard deviation is 2.03. Okay. So doing that, we were able to um, solve no? in a matter of uh, seconds. So i-click mo lang yung solve, Malala mapapalabas mo na kagad itong um, answer. No? So ano yung answer natin? No? The conclusion is do not reject the null hypothesis. Okay? So do not reject the null hypothesis. So ibig sabihin, uh, ang null hypothesis natin, let's say, there is, no? There is uh, no, kasi kapag sinabi mong null, palaging ginagamit dyan is no, no? So, we can say that there is no um, general average. There is no significant difference, no? Uh, between the population. So, since ang sabi sa atin dito, do not reject the null hypothesis, no? which is ang null hypothesis natin, there is no significant difference. No? Kasi ito yung nakalagay. Oh. There is no significant difference between the scores of the, sev, uh, the 10 students. Okay? So, yun yung answer natin. Okay? Yun yung answer natin for this um, activity. I hope I was able to answer the question. And um, for more videos like this, so go ahead and check out my playlists. And uh, yeah, feel free to shoot me any questions okay, about practical research. So stay safe and um, see you on the next video.